Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Shay and today we are going to go through another language learning video. If you haven't seen my Italian video before, I'll put it right up here. It's about how I tried to learn as much Italian as possible in one month and that's kind of what started my whole language learning journey. So I wanted to bring another video to you today about how I keep up with that and especially tips and tricks on how you can continue to learn a language while having a full-time job because I know one of the reasons why a lot of people don't go on the journey of learning a new language and it's because they think they don't have enough time and sure it's easy to say that you don't have enough time for things but that can just be an excuse for anything really so I think there's always enough time to do something especially if you want to actually do it and you're motivated and determined to do it so here are just going to be some tips and tricks about how I sprinkle in studying Italian throughout my work day and throughout my week. So I'm going to start this video off with a vlog style and just kind of take you through my daily routine of my different tasks. But then later on, make sure you stay tuned because at the end I'm also going to add some extra tips kind of unrelated to a daily schedule just about different ways you can continue to learn a language. But you can get some inspiration and some ideas and kind of just like pick and choose what methods would work best for you and your schedule. So let's get started. So when I wake up in the morning, I get out of bed and head downstairs to make some coffee. And then once that is done, I bring it back up to my room and I usually journal or meditate or do my typical morning routine. But then after that is when I hop into my language learning for the morning. I like turning on some music and then reading a short story in Italian. And I use this awesome book. It's called Italian Short Stories for Beginners. I actually just downloaded it through my free trial of Kindle Unlimited and I can link that down below so you can try it for free. It's actually been really good so far. I really like the format of it. It uh, is a bit more intermediate level so not for absolute beginners so I think it's perfect for me because I can understand pretty much all of it but there are still some vocabulary words that I don't know yet. So each section has like a three to four page short story then it has the vocabulary at the end, a summary, and then a comprehension quiz to test how well you understood it. It's really been a great way for me to learn new vocabulary and become familiar with certain grammar structures because I feel like I'm still learning a lot of the grammar since it is very intricate in Italian. So I definitely recommend reading a story or just doing something pretty light in the morning and just adding it to your daily routine and make sure it's something you enjoy. Some other options are in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee, I'll just watch some YouTube videos in Italian if I feel like watching something rather than reading. So I'll link some of my favorite Italian YouTubers down below, but a good tip is to search for morning routines, day in the life vlogs of whatever language you're studying. So for example, for me, I would search Un giorno nella mia vita and that way you can find more Italian YouTubers with actual videos of what they do in a day in their life or their daily routine, that kind of thing, and you'll get a ton of results. So these are great because talking about yourself and your routines will provide you with some of the most useful vocabulary that you'll need in the beginning of your language learning. And it will also help you recognize and learn words if you're watching the same style videos repeatedly. So you'll learn a lot about what you do in the morning, your daily routines, a lot of different vocabulary about new foods, and just hearing that repetition will definitely help really get it into your mind so you remember all these words and these phrases and also hear just like colloquial phrases. And then usually by this point I have to jump into my actual work so my Italian study time is over for the morning. On the breaks I typically enjoy checking my phone but if I feel motivated I'll run over some vocabulary and it's really important to review the vocabulary that you're writing down repeatedly or else you'll just forget it. Another tip I heard was actually labeling things in your home with the vocabulary word. So for example, you can put little sticky notes on objects around your room, kitchen, or living room. But of course, if you have roommates or you live with your family, they might hate this. So reconsider that in common areas. But then if you can't do that, at least say words in your head. For example, when I go down to the kitchen to make lunch, I'll say the Italian names of things I'm using or cooking in my head. Like I'm using la lattuga, i pomodori, il formaggio, etc. to make un insalata. So then you eat salad with la forchetta, un bicchiere di acqua, 
So then you have those words going on in your head as you're making food or doing daily tasks, you're grabbing something and you're associating that word in your mind with whatever the object is that you're touching and then you will basically just help solidify what actually is when you can see it and you name it and then you kind of commit that to memory. So then after lunch or later on in the day, I like to go for walks and while I do that I listen to podcasts and typically listen to some Italian ones, not always, but I like to. And when I actually had to go into the office, I listen to podcasts during my commute. So that's a way you can incorporate it back once you're actually going back to an office. I honestly haven't found a ton of really good ones because I don't particularly like listening to the one that's really popular. It's like slow, slow news in Italian. And I never listen to the news anyway because it's depressing and terrible. So I prefer to listen to stuff that's more fun, maybe like pop culture related. So if anyone knows good ones in Italian, definitely comment them because I'm looking for more. By the end of the day, I'm usually pretty tired after work. And sometimes I have zero motivation to study and I just won't do it that day and that's really fine. You don't always have to be studying every second of your free time and sometimes it's better not to force it. If I am motivated though, I will grab a glass of wine and dive into a grammar video or some listening exercises. I'll link down some of my favorite grammar videos below, but I'll usually just choose one and then take notes in my grammar notebook and I'll look up some exercises online to practice whatever grammar I just learned. And then if you just aren't feeling like doing any more studying, another thing you can do is just enjoy some wine, cheese, and enjoy some Italian music. And sometimes I just like to connect to my memories of living in Rome and that just kind of evokes my motivation again. So I think that remembering why you want to learn a language is important too. So your language study can definitely involve doing research on the culture or making your own little happy place in that energy. It doesn't have to be studying the language all the time. You still have to remember why you want to learn it and why it's important to you. And then finally, if I feel like I haven't done enough that day or didn't get much time in the morning to read, I'll read a short story on my Kindle before bed. And this is good because I feel like having Italian in your mind before you go to sleep actually makes you think about it while you sleep. I swear, I wake up with Italian phrases in my head the next morning and my brain wakes up and it's like, Che cosa fai? Che successo? And I'm like, uh, I just woke up. So I think that it's good to have that Italian just kind of circulating around in your brain while you sleep. Here are some extra tips and tricks that have helped me and some different ways that I've organized my study sessions that I think will be very helpful and you can incorporate them in your own weekly schedule. So if you noticed, I was referencing different notebooks. In my last video, I didn't really touch on this, but since then I've actually split up my learning into four different notebooks because what I realized was whatever I was learning, I was just like jotting it down in a notebook and I felt like it was very unorganized. So when I wanted to go back and review things, I didn't really have an organized way to find that. So I love being organized and having everything like almost too organized. So what I did is I ordered a pack of notebooks and I split them up into a grammar notebook, a journal, conjugations, and vocabulary is the last one. So I mean, each one is pretty self-explanatory, but this journal is actually like the one I mentioned in my first video where I talked about writing what you do on a daily basis in this specific journal. So that's what this one is for. And then grammar, obviously any sort of grammar that I learn, I put in here. And that's just, you know, taking notes on the videos that I watch or if I wanna do exercises and write, you know, if I'm answering questions for the exercises, I'll put them in here. Conjugations, I split up conjugations and grammar because I mean, conjugations are just such a huge part of learning a language. And what I did is I actually have like the first few pages just devoted to the certain tenses, like the endings of the tenses. So you have present, and then I have the common irregulars down here. And then I have the past tense right here and irregular participles. So I'll also put the future in here. And then later on in the notebook, is where I have my scratch paper where I kind of like practice actually writing out my conjugations. So that's what I recommend, splitting them up. And then obviously vocabulary is a big one. This is where I put uh, words that I don't know when I'm just reading stories. 
or I also have some different categories like the months, weather, describing food, adverbs, what else, cooking, colors, so some basic stuff. And again, you can organize that any way that you want, but I definitely recommend splitting up your learning sections into different notebooks because I really feel like I feel a lot more organized doing that. And I know practicing speaking is by far the hardest. So what I've been doing actually is reaching out to the people that I talk to on Hello Talk or Tandem, and I'll ask them if I can just send them an audio message of what I did that day. So basically talking about my daily routine or like in the morning I did this, I ate this, I did this for work and practicing just speaking about my day and then I send it to them and then when I wake up in the morning they come back with some corrections or praise for doing things right or saying things right so that definitely helps with learning how to do better pronunciation and I always ask them to just correct me with anything that I do wrong because I know I'm gonna make mistakes so it's fine and usually everyone on there is very nice and they want to help you so I think that's a good idea is reaching out to them and just saying like hey can I send you an audio message of my day it doesn't have to be every day but it can be whenever you feel like it or you know just start getting more comfortable with speaking Another thing that I like to do at the beginning of every week is actually come up with a study schedule. So you can look up a template on Canva or literally just type a basic one into a Word document and kind of map out what you want to study every day. So you don't have to do the same things every day. Like one day could be mainly vocabulary focused or reading. I will show you an example of some of my study schedules. And then usually I only like to focus on like two or three grammar topics throughout the week so my past week was like reflexive verbs and those conjugations and then I also was incorporating more of the future because I still mess up the future a lot so you should probably focus on just maybe one to three depending on where you're at you could just focus on one but I wouldn't recommend learning a new grammar thing every day because then you'll probably get lost with everything that you've learned but also make sure that your weekly schedule also incorporates reviewing what you learned in the past week or even the past two weeks because coming back and reviewing is important to make sure that whatever you're learning doesn't just get lost. It's not like you learn one thing and the next week you're done, like you never touch that again because repetition is needed in order to actually remember what you're learning. So make sure review is also a part of your daily schedule. And of course, another fun way to keep hearing a language is watching TV shows and movies. I just saw that uh, there's a new Italian show on Netflix. It's called Summertime. In my opinion, so far it hasn't been great. I honestly liked Baby better, but we'll see because it's still a fun show. I mean, it's pretty typical. I think it's based on an Italian book series, but so far, I mean, it's good. It's another good show to help learn the language. And then my last tip, if you really wanna get a lot better at speaking and get over your fear, definitely try italki. It's a website that you can reach out to tutors and have people to practice with. You can do this for like before an exam or literally just because you're learning a language. There doesn't have to be a specific reason. Also, it's relatively cheap. You can do a few trial lessons and there are some trial lessons that start at like a dollar for a half hour or something. And then you can look at different tutors and some tutors charge like $3 or $5 an hour and then some will like charge $30 an hour. You know, it all depends on their level, but there are so many tutors for, I just type in Italian and there's a ton of native speaking tutors who can help you for literally like $5 an hour. So let's say you do that once a week, twice a week, or even just like twice a month just to practice. I think that's super beneficial. Like actually seeing them in the video and practicing and having them help you in real time instead of going back and forth on Hello Talk um, is very beneficial and will help with your pronunciation and other stuff. And you know, it's like once you get over that barrier of speaking, then everything just seems to like open up and you're a lot more confident and excited to keep learning. It's definitely a process. Don't ever feel frustrated and don't give up. Some days maybe you just don't feel like studying and that's fine. 
some days I just will have one day where I don't really do any studying and I'm not going to beat myself up over it, but I just make sure the next day that I definitely get back on track. So never pressure yourself or else it'll turn from something that you enjoy and something that's fun to something that feels like a burden and you will have no motivation to do it anymore. If you're learning Italian, I think one of the best resources that I know is Online Italian Club. It has all of the levels broken down and then all these different exercises for listening reading, comprehension, vocabulary, grammar, under all the different levels. So I will link that down below for sure, but that has been one of the best resources that I've used, especially if you don't want to invest in some sort of course. It's all free and it's actually very, very good. So definitely check that out below if you're studying Italian and maybe they have other languages too. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm hoping in the future to actually do an entire video in Italian. That is a personal goal for me actually for this month. Month. so I'm thinking I will do some sort of short video just to show my progress in Italian speaking. Of course, that's a little scary for me, but I definitely hope to bring that video to you all soon, so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you want to see it and you have not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and like this video because it helps me so much. So make sure to check out my other videos if you haven't, and stay tuned because I post new videos every Sunday. So I will see you next week. Bye!